Lord's Day is from John chapter 17 verse 18. Good day brothers and sisters, praise the Lord. Hope, hope you're keeping well amidst this lockdown. It's good to interact virtually though. Our scripture verse for today is from John chapter 17 verse 18. As you have sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. What does the scripture of verse mean to us? Quite literally, it talks about Jesus commissioning each and every one of us to go and proclaim to the ends of the earth the good news of our Lord. But what more does it say? It shows us the way Jesus prayed. We see in numerous occasions in the Bible, Jesus going away in seclusion and praying to the Father. Here, John gives us a glimpse of what the prayer of Jesus would be like. And what does he have in store for us? Now he's, come in, he's given us a commission to go out and make known his word to all the nations. But what's the blueprint for us to follow? That blueprint is what Jesus prays to the Father that we do. So we look from verse 6 onwards right up to verse 19 and see what Jesus has in store for us and try and incorporate that in our lives to the best way that we can. First, I have made your name known. We look how Jesus gives all glory to the Father. His purpose was only to make the Heavenly Father known, His love known to all the people. He preached, He worked signs and wonders, but never did He draw attention to Himself. He gave all the glory to the Father. He didn't say, oh, you know what? I made the lame walk. I rose this guy up from the dead. I cast out so many demons from this person. I gave them wine to drink. I blessed them with plenty. Never. It's a point to reflect in our ministries and keep a precedent in our minds, a norm for ourselves, not to get people attracted to us, our gifts and our charisms, but let them be pointed only to the Lord. Second, know that everything you have given me is from you. Jesus made known that everything he did was by the Father. He gave him all the glory all the time. He gave him the credit. He prayed to the Father in public. He blessed the loaves and fed to the multitude. He raised last from the dead, but he made known to the people that he depended on the Father for the same. We are invited and exhorted and challenged by Jesus to do the same. To let the people know where we receive all our graces from, where we receive all our power from. It's not our power, but the power that is working, the power of Jesus, the power of God that's working through us. Third, very important one, all mine are yours and yours are mine. It talks about the abundance of our God, of all that he has in store for us multitude the gamut of people that is there but yet we find ourselves troubled and grieving that oh we miss this person from our group this person will, yes there'll be a sorrow because that group has taken this person away from us oh these people are taking away our sheep our faithful are going to that that cell or that organization and not coming and praying with us yes we do it with the best of intentions but let it not sadden us too much because probably, definitely, the Lord has his eye on them and he has a plan for them to grow closer to him, maybe through that group or maybe that group needs them more than us, that we need, that we need them right now. So let us not have that sort of an attitude where we have all oh, that guilt and that remorse. And finally, he prayed for us. He prayed to the Father that we be protected in his care. That we be protected from the evil one and that the joy that we have may be complete. He prayed to the Father for us. We do need to pray for the people we minister to, to the best extent that we can. So there it is. All glory to the Father. Acknowledge that He alone is the most important one. Not have any difficulties and remorse over people moving out or not being there with us all the time and finally praying for them and we end this time with a short hymn asking the Lord to bless us as we go about our ministry God's Spirit is in my heart He has called me and set me the <laughs>
good news to the poor. Tell prisoners that they are prisoners no more. Tell blind people that they can see. And set the downtrodden free. And go tell everyone the news that the kingdom of God has come. And go tell everyone the news that God's kingdom has come. Make us pray through Christ our Lord. Amen.